Okay, welcome back to this task one of the unit called Undertake Project Work BSV PMG 430. As we are well aware, task one are the quizzes, knowledge-based question. Please ensure to write correct details and a signature. Without this, it shall come back to you you know, because I won't be accepting it without signature. I mean, there are some flows with it, but let's make it uniform. Um, I need a signature all the time, and all the details being filled here. That's fine. Um, that's all right, let's write. Okay, this everything is standard, nothing new here. Um, if you need extension, you need to ask for it before the end of due date. Now, when is the due date? Um, Okay, where do we have the due date? No. Nope. Um, that's fine, that's fine. It's there it is. So if you are in this week, this is week nine, but I'll still treat it. Everything in a block of four. So one, two, three, four. End of week three, so 9th of October will be the due date for this one. Yeah, so I'll write it here, 9, 10, 22. Okay. <clears throat> That's a due date. Now, it's an open book, so you can use any resources that you wish. Okay, no problem with that one. That's fine, location is online or anywhere where you have internet and a laptop that, that I already provided you learning guide, so that's fine. I provided PPT, so that's done. I will also provide this Word file once it's complete, yeah? You have two attempts, make sure you use them wisely. Um, I'm not that fuzzy about the number of attempts, but if someone is really increasing my job and making my time hard, because I don't want to devote all the time to one candidate. I have to distribute to every other student with me or candidate with me. Then I'll have to stick to the number of attempts. It's just like, so we already exhausted one or two attempts. You know, that's it. Yeah. Right. Identify two project management tools that are commonly used to manage project. Give three examples of how each tool assists in the planning and monitoring of the project. Okay, so this is just an example from me. Okay, I make it in italic, make it a bit uh, different color. Let's go for some gray. Yeah, I went for a bit gray. Right, so one of them is Trello. I talked about two of them when we were discussing this project management tool. Trello, any do, you can say Eisenhower, Matrix tool, prioritizing, there is monday.com, Gun chart, PRT chart, ESNA, a lot of them. How do you know um, which one is good, which one is not? Just go online and search project management tools and there'll be a very good list of it, which I'm typing in a chat window. Feel free to explore and pick up your own and write about um, their um, support in managing a project. Yeah, I got a very good website. There are 55 of them on that website. Yeah, again, um, this is just a hint. Proof Hub is one of them, you know, their features, what they do, Scoro. I haven't heard all of them for sure. Yeah, I'll put works on, you know, what are the benefit, you know, what is the pricing, file stage, proof proof, you know, uh, HubSpot, a good Zoho project, that's very famous, uh, Gunt Pro and Task, lot of them, lot of them, you know, try to be unique, write about their features, how they are helping you to complete the project. So for example, I just put something here to assist you, Trello, which is easy to collaborate with others, easy to sort out cards, help prioritizing due dates and a task, that's it. Okay, um, these are just a few benefits that the card or the tool bring it to you. You have to find out the other one, 
don't copy and paste what I have written. This is just to help you to go in the right direction. Uh, the purpose is not that you copy and paste what's in here. Yeah, come up with your own. You can select Trello, but not the same what I have written. Okay. Right. Any point, any question, please, um, you know, come back to me. Right. And uh, whatever could be your doubt. Um, who is that gentleman who just left? Can we just hold off any visit unless it's a... Cool. Um, moving on. Number two, describe three types of document or any other sources of information. And now this I use to define parameters of a project. What are that documents? Right? That define the parameter of a project. So number one, let's start with. Um, project brief. Okay, to start with project brief. So what does a project brief says? It's brief overview of the project, who is involved and everything. You can talk about scope of a document, right? You can talk about meeting notes, any other statistical report, anything or previous templates of project, previous filed up successful report, right? which helps you with the project, okay? So these are the sources of information, right? It could be time frame, it could be budget note, it could be meeting notes, you know, project scope, project brief, all that kind of thing. And then you talk about how, um, you know, they are used to define the parameters of a object, of a project, yeah? All good, question one and two. Any clarification sorts before I move to three, four, and five? Only five questions, that's it. Awesome, I was expecting Wilson's answer. I was about to say your name, but I said, no, nah, won't be that good. But I knew you would come. Good, good job, Wilson, thank you. Right, okay, so let's move on. Provide an explanation of how and why it is important to ensure that a project should align to mission, goal, objective, and operations. Okay. What happens if you don't? Because see, whatever you are doing is to help your organizations to go further, isn't it? Right? Let's say you are doing a project where you are recruiting someone. Right? How does that help your company? Obviously, your company is making money from it or serving to the community in a better way. Right? So, whatever you are doing, okay, should align to mission statements. So, let's talk about one or two of them. Right? So, about mission statement. The mission provides a high level statement and a big picture. What does your company do? Right? What does the company wants to achieve, obtain? A mission always supported by one or more goals. So mission is a bigger picture. In order to achieve that mission, you have some goals, right? There are more specific statements of what a company wants to achieve. Goals provide a detailed description of product activity. What does it do, right? Now, if you go a bit further, there comes the objectives. They are smaller steps, activity, or some outcome. They must be completed to achieve a goal. So first comes the mission. The broader one, goal supports the mission. Objectives helps you achieve those goals. Okay? And operation is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Right? Operation is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, which falls in an overall part of the project scheme. Okay, so you need to read a bit further. Um, the learner's guide would help. Yeah, that's a very good. So PPT, um, that's another source. And otherwise, um, pray to God or ask Google. Yeah, that would help as well. Oh, Jesus, give me the strength in the universe so I can be a very good candidate, right? And, um, you know, be an honorable student that everyone admires. 
give, give me enough strength so I can complete my work on time with full integrity. Yeah. I have a question. Please. Uh, just back me up there a bit uh, on question three. Yep, sure. All right. So we have objectives and operations now. Mm -hmm. Just just to clarify, objectives are objectives and operations are the little nitty gritty stuff that we do. Is that for this task? Is that what that's meant there? Yeah. No, I'll, I'll just clarify the difference between them. Yeah, mm. so objectives are the smaller steps, the activity and mm. measurable outcome <laughs> that must be completed to achieve a goal. Mm -hmm. So mission that goes on the top, goals, they are the <clears throat> statements that support yeah. mission and objective is a smaller specific activity that you do, right? right? When an operation is your day-to-day -day stuff, right? Day-to-day -day task, for but example. Can they be the little stuff as as objective? Is that yes. kind of, it, it will sort of overlay. Are you, are they will think? be. They will be. They will be. Yep. A little yeah. bit of overlay, you know. Mm -hmm. But operation, again, what they are doing, um, they are falling in overall scheme. But operation does not necessarily be the objective, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll come up with some example. Um, you know, of um, where their fine line is. Let me let me try to do it now. Mission. Why I asked is because you know at times when you know when in certain questions and not not this assignment but in the past, there's almost a close repetitiveness you know between some of the answers you know mm. that that I can come up with. Um, it, is is that have you found that to be true in in um in some cases? It's just a question I just wanted to ask. If if they are overlapping, they are. You can't really uh, you know make them explicitly different. Yeah, you know? yes. Um, that's fine, and there that will be the case with more many. I wouldn't say most, but many responses that you try to do. Right, right. right. Um, right. Don't worry about them. If you know what you're writing is clear, and that's what it is. Mm. Then, then that's it, yeah. Um, okay. and maybe I'll try vision, mission. Um, you know, I'll write in a chat so everyone can read that. Um, what do you got? We got mission goal. Uh, okay, I think they have to go in order. Um, so that's about the core value. Uh, then I got some strategy. Objective action plan. Okay, so if I read from the chat because I was just compiling them, uh, right. Let me just read this and then I'll give you some example. Yeah. Um, so vision can be, I mean, we are not talking about vision, so just drop that for a bit. Mission, general statement of how you'll achieve the vision. So what is vision? Eventually, big picture of what you want to achieve. So one of the example of a vision statement could be a successful company, right? Successful dairy business, successful agriculture, successful, um, you know, operation of a ministry of health or ministry uh, of uh, compliance or immigration or whatever that your telecom company another one yeah core values how you will behave during your process to work with integrity to be fair in what you are doing to be transparent you know so your behavior along in in order to achieve your vision mission right um, drop the strategy uh, what we got goals this are general statement which needs to be accomplished to uh, achieve a strategies right then we got objectives. They provide specific milestone with a specific timeline for achieving a goal. And then you got some operation or action plan, right? Um, uh, that's fine. I was looking for more fine lines. I'm just looking for some good example. Okay, I got one very nice one, I think. 
Okay. Let me share this one uh, rather than me simply reading it. Uh, let, me share. let me share the whole screen. Yeah, so for example, this one. What is the vision of vibrant rural economy driven by new and growing businesses? That's your vision, right? Okay, while well, your mission could be, which supports the vision to create a new business, help existing business expand. So you talked about the bigger one, then everything is narrowing down. You know, that's really broad and then you are narrowing your funnel, right? There could be many output of the funnel for sure, okay? Then strategy, use local leaders with business development skills. The goal is to recruit local leaders. Objective, to create a list of 20 individuals by FAB1 to support that goal. Goal is to support the strategy, strategy is to support the mission, and that's your action plan. Form a committee to recruit leaders, you know, um, or objectives that you wanted to do. So this like this supports this, this one supports goal, goal supports strategy, strategy supports mission, and that finally helps you achieve your visions. This is how it goes, right? You can have more than one action plan and you will have definitely, you know? Um, moving on, again, your vision stays the same, right? Your mission stays the same, but your strategy changes here. Use consultant to supplement the skill rather than recruit local leaders. Your strategy has changed. If your strategy has changed, your goal could change as well. Your objective and action plan will change as well. Again, your vision and mission stays the same. Strategy is to create successful business. Da, 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 da. Your goal is change. This is change. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So this is a very good, very good link. And I'm sure it will um, help you understand a bit better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, again, at the end, if it overlaps, it overlaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Frederick. Yes. Um, if nothing more, then we can move to question number four. Identify two pieces of legislation that impact uh, project planning. And for each piece of legislation, one regulation, give an example of legislative impact that it has. Okay. So let's talk about legislation WHS. Okay, now, Walk Health and Safety, WHS, is a legislation. Under that, we have some regulation, Walk Health and Safety Regulation 2011, 2013. Different state will have different regulation, all that kind of thing, right? So one example of how organization can meet the legislative requirement, ensuring that all WHS procedure are compliant, training the staff member, to understand all the requirement expectation. It could be, for example, manual lifting, manual handling, right? Take, allowing them to take frequent break. Otherwise, if you're looking at the screen for constantly two hours, you'll damage your eye, right? Continuous keyboard stroke without proper support, you will hurt your wrist in the long run. Yeah, so some of the things that how you can meet your um, legislative requirement is to adhering to the policy, the steps outlined under the regulation. Yeah, make sense? So comes the bigger part as a legislation, following it is the regulation, and how do you meet that regulation is how do you support it, yeah? Right, we got one more question to go, and then any Q&A, final, question and answer if anyone has any. Explain how project management process should align with the organization policy and procedures below, right? So it's a line of authority and approval. I'm sure we have discussed this enough with Michael, but still, what is line of authority and approval? As a person who oversee what you do, right? Has the right to start, approve, seize a project. Isn't it? Yeah, they might say, oh, you're yeah, going too much over the budget. You do it under, you know, $20,000. Otherwise, that's it. You're not a part of this project. I can assign it to someone else. Yeah. Quality assurance. 
What we mean by quality assurance is all the procedure that you follow to ensure you are meeting the benchmark of quality, right? For example, assessment quality means you are submitting, if I'm checking your work, I'm ensuring that there is no plagiarized work, no students work are exactly the same. Otherwise, it's the same five question. Everyone can copy from another, <laughs> right? So that's my job to ensure the quality of the assessment is being made uh, correctly, you know, I'm marking it correctly. Uh, there's no plagiarism, there's no colluding work, you know, all work is a genuine stuff. If you are borrowing from some website, you have them in a reference section, paraphrasing all that kind of thing, right? Human resource. What is the job of human resource is to give you with the right amount of skill, talent in terms of the person, people to complete the project, to help you with the project task. Yeah. Budget and finance, very easy to ensure you have enough funding. Support your monetary aspect is being taken care of. Okay. Okay. Whatever you do should be within the project approval, budget approval, right? Next comes risk management. It is very critical, very essential to identify all the risk in the process, documenting them, categorizing them in terms of the impact they might have on your project, right? If you're running on a very tight deadline, okay, you know a task can be done easily in five days, but she said, no, 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 I'll do it in three days. Okay, that's fine. So you are risking the time. That's fine, that will increase the pressure. What if there is a COVID outbreak and the SI government says, okay, there is a lockdown for two days to control the outbreak. Why? Because there is a ship containing coronavirus patient has arrived and there was someone's error. They didn't check the document properly and now we are in lockdown. So you needed five days, you squeeze it in three days, two days of lockdown. That's it, you can't do it in one day. We are risking a lot. So you need some planning, okay? How will you manage those risks? Record keeping, how you keep a record of it. Are you printing everything, filing it as per the date, or you are just keeping an e-record with a proper documentation, date and everything. If you look at this file name, BSP, like I already said, but BSP PMD 43081, assessment task one, KQ is a knowledge question, Dave Quinslin material was then one, and I edited a bit part of it. So I have a date when I was using the 16622. That was in June 22 this year, while I was training the other batch. Yeah, so proper record keeping. And finally comes the reporting. Finally comes the reporting. How do you report? Is it via email? Is it on a Word document? Is it in a PPT? Whom are you reporting to? Are you just reporting to your immediate manager or their manager's manager as well? Right? If you are sending them a meeting invite, how long is the meeting should be for? When do you need to notify them? All that kind of thing will be a part of the reporting process. 